Hey, it's Candia Raquel, director and founder of Centro de Poder. Welcome to the Sensual Sessions. In today's episode, we have a very special guest, Sarai Castañeda. She is the director of Lilo, Mexico and Latin America. Sarai was also the director of Sally Supply and Conair. Let's welcome her, Sarai. So happy to have you here with us. So can you tell us a little bit about your story? How was uh, that you get in touch with Lilo? How this, this experience motivate you to go deeper to yourself and empowered you? Yes, well, um... My professional background has always been in beauty, in beauty industry, especially the professional beauty industry. Uh, and I think I was very, I was very lucky, and I was always like, you know, at the correct time. So I was very uh, successful at, uh, within that industry. Uh, then I decided to open some business, and I was like very, very successful and happy. Then I took some personal decisions that <laughs> took me out of my. Uh, but to success or what I believe it was success for me at that point. And um, I have to resign to my last job. What uh, that at that point was Conair. I was a marketing director for uh, Conair in Mexico. I had a beauty salons and I have other beauty uh, business in Mexico. I decided to resign. I decided to sell everything and follow the path of love and then <laughs> as, it should be, as it should be you did the right thing <laughs> yeah it was like yeah it was the right thing at that moment with the information that i had at that moment i will not do it again but it was the correct thing at that moment um but everything is like that right we take decisions only with the information that we have on hand and then could be good or bad decisions but anyway uh turns out that it was the not the correct decision and then I was a, I, I spent one year of my life trying to recover myself from a broken heart from a money loss from um, health issues and it was a one year that I was completely um, in, in a not very good situation. After that, one day I decided to start looking and then I started to to recover myself and to go back on track. And then I found this opportunity at Lilo. And then I, I thought, oh, this is something that I would like to do. Not only because of what the description of the job was, but because of the company that it was. So I was very aware that uh, the type of company that it was, something that attracted me to Lilo was that it was a luxury brand, which means it's, it was not what you may think about an adult brand, you know, and all the, the ideas that is around sex toys and everything. So I was very lucky. Uh, and, and then I sent my curriculum and after a week, I was working for Lilo. But at that point, I was a totally different person. And Lilo, as, uh, as the brand that, is, that it is, and with all the opportunities that it has been offering to me during these almost two and a half years, helped me also to improve, you know, my personal, professional, psychological levels. And it's, it's the beauty about Lilo, not only as a company, but as what it offers, that is this empowerment and this self-knowledge and, and this sexual wellness that is not only about the sexual part, that means well, the sexual wellness is part of all the well-being. So it's just a little portion, you know, and if that's fulfilled and if that's successful, then the rest is, is improving alone. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about this view of sexual wellness and pleasure objects in contrast with the typical sex toy definition. What, what, what's the difference? Well, I, I remember that one, one day when I started just working for Lilo, I was reviewing all the documentation and I saw this um, book where Philip Seddy, which is the owner of Lilo, was talking about the first 10 years of the brand. And then he wrote a letter and he wrote what a journey it was and uh, all the story that I'm gonna tell you a little bit later. But at the end of this letter, 
he, it was a finite line that it was like taboos are there to be broken. And I taboos thought, yeah. are there to be broken. Yes. Exactly. This is what I was like, my mood it was like, yeah, the taboos. And not, not only like all the taboos about sexuality, but about uh, women, about men, about everything, you know, like we live with a lot of taboos in our life and a yes. lot of things that we're not supposed to do, not supposed to say, not supposed to think. So that line, I think, talks about a lot about what Lelo thinks about sexual wellness is. It's not only the pleasure, it's not only the orgasm, it's more. It's about fulfill, a, obviously, a physical need that will lead, will lead you to like a deeper well-being where if you if that part of your life is in balance if that part of, of your life is fulfilled either alone or with a partner because our objects our pleasure objects are not only for a uh, alone or, or for using alone also for using with your partner and in, in or every type of relation intimate relationship that you have um if that part is fulfilled, I think it gives you certain type of power, of um, uh, comfort, of uh, understanding, and you act in a different way. So that leads to everything, you know, yeah. like yes, you you project that to the rest of your things, yes. to how you express, to how you work, to how happy you are. So so that that's that's what uh, Lilo is about. The story of, about Lilo is very interesting because uh, so the owner, Philip Selig, again, he used to have a girlfriend and he wanted to give to her uh, a sex toy. And then he started looking and then he couldn't find anything, anything not not only pretty, but even safe, you know, like safe material. Yes. So yes, he yes, said, well, yes. no. He's, and obviously he's an engineer, so he decided to create one, and he created the lily that is. Uh, you show it around, please show it to us. Wonderful. This is <laughs> Lovely. I'm sorry, how oh, my look is, but well, has been a tough day. But anyway, <laughs> this is the this is the first one that he created. It's very small, the size of your palm. It has only one type of vibration, but eight different levels. So he gave this to his girlfriend at the time, to his mom, to all his friends. To his and mom. All of, to his mom. <laughs> There's no taboo. It's, it's like exactly, exactly. part of the wholeness of the being. Like you have a exactly. nose, you have ears, you have sex. Clearly you, your mom have had sex because you're exactly. the proof of that. So it's like going, going beyond the taboos and preconceptions and being simply sincere exactly. and healthy. Exactly, and then, um, I mean, I, I think if we link, because of the conversation I had with you before about the sensuality and about everything, it's not only one more time about an orgasm, a physical or a, a mechanical orgasm the, thing. Exactly, you know, could be more, a lot of more. This is just a tool. And, okay. and as every tool, you need to use it in, in the yes. correct way. Yes. So anyway, so he created this one. He gave it to everyone. And from there on, it was a success. That was in 2003. And uh, since the beginning, the, the, the roots of Lelo was one, to create objects that were beautiful, that were attractive, and that people, especially women, will be proud of own. So we have models. I don't have one here, but there is one. Uh, we have won not only prizes within the adult uh, industry, but also as a design brand, as a luxury brand, as um, as um, com uh, campaigns of marketing that we have. So, um, uh, so, so the goal of Lelo was that to to offer a tool, a beautiful tool that women and men can use for their own pleasure and that that could lead them to feel more comfortable with their sexuality and with the rest of, of whatever wellness is for them and they were they're looking for in a in an intimate pleasure or, or whatever they conceive as a as a as an intimate pleasure yeah i find it super fascinating to have these tools 
to start working and nurturing and cultivating an important area of your life, such as sexual, your sexuality in the context of wellness. So if you embark to the, into the quest of getting into a relation with another person, it's not from an empty space of, of really having a need that you can, that you don't know anything about it even. Because once you start exploring yourself, knowing what you like, uh, fulfilling yourself, then, then you, are, you come into the contact with another person, not, not from an empty place, but from a fulfilled place and you have something to bring that is that adds up to it and i would like to know more about um how how is i don't know what what's what is your observation on the experience of your of your uh, clients and customers on on the journey of exploring their intimacy their pleasure with the pleasure objects and tools from Lilo. Do they start right away with the with their couples or they start, I don't know, tell us about it. And if, I think if you have more toys, more objects, yeah, well, I know. pleasure <laughs> objects to, to show us. So yeah. that I, I think, fantastic. Um, yeah, I think each part is very personal, but in general, mm -hmm. uh, and because Lilo is, we have uh, offices in Croatia, in Shanghai, in the US, in all over the world. We sell a law in every single country, countries except those who are illegal <laughs> to own a <laughs> sex toy <laughs> because there are countries that is illegal. Um, we, we are more than 500 employees working for Lelo. So all the information that we have, I think is very useful. I will recommend you also to, to look for our blog because we have a blog that has been um, ongoing since I think t 10 years ago. So all the information that you find there is extremely useful. I will give the link later. Um, so anyway, we, one more time, everybody's uh, particular and very intimate, but in general, we have discovered that people, especially women, because we have also toys for, for men, obviously, but especially women, they still have an issue with internal massagers. So they will okay. begin with external massagers. It okay. could be with Lila, that is very that, uh, delicate, it. very sophisticated. This is especially for external stimulation, which means clitoris stimulation, or they, they can- they That, can that would be the 101, and that would be like the next step. Yeah, this is the how, next step. How, how the, does that work? It, okay, so this this is it's like yeah, like what, where do you put what? <laughs> is that for Wait, the every woman for should, the breast? <laughs> no, no, no. Every woman should own a lilo, uh, a sauna. This is amazing. So, so sauna, this, like like to be in the sauna. zone. Exactly. <laughs> so this is um this is a, a clitoris um a stimulator. This is very different from clitoris um. Uh, like like the satisfier or those that those work with air technology that's okay. completely different so this basically works with uh sensonic um technology uh, uh we i forgot the name in english waves sens sensonic waves. waves so which means is that the power of the waves will start from the bottle of the toy that is like the heart of the toy oh it has no battery and it will go straight to this area. This is for the clitoris. And okay. since this is sonic waves, you can use directly to the clitoris, but some people are very sensitive in that area. So you can go Side around way. clitoris, sideways to the clitoris. And then what is gonna happen is that the waves that this toy is creating will, only, will, will not only stimulate the tip of the clitoris, that it's only one small little part that is the outside, of the but also all the internal, all the internal um, organ that so, so you rest the, the so, so you place like the tip on the tip of the iceberg, like the clitoris, and the, the rest of the objects go in the labia, like support. Yeah, no, we we'll go like, um, this is the clitoris, let's say, okay. and this is like the, 
the vulva, the rest the of vulva. the vulva. Yeah, could go like this or could go uh -huh. like this, however okay. you want. Also, this have a technology that is called cruise. So you know that every woman, when we are about to reach our orgasm, we will need additional intensity. Mm -hmm. So with this one, you don't have to worry about the intensity and to, oh, I need to switch it. Yeah, and as lose, lose concentration. It, no, exactly. As soon as you push it against your body, it will increase 20% the intensity of the stimulation. So immediately you will reach your orgasm. It's so anyway, like very, what is gonna happen? Very smart device. He, yeah. the, the device but it's, gets you. You don't have to explain. Exactly. <laughs> it's, yeah, you have to be moving and uh, wait. No, 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 no. We'll do everything alone. And uh, so, what is going to happen is that it's going to stimulate not only the external part, but also the internal part. So, the experience of the orgasm that you are going to have with this one is amazing. It's, out of this world is one of a kind. I have heard people who say that they experienced their first squirt with this one, the yeah. first orgasm, the first everything with this one. So the this first, is a, like a virgin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like everyone, like you, you are not a virgin, but you realize that you actually were because you were unaware of, of your pleasure, oh, that, capabilities and potentials. So it's and very important not, not to settle with, with what you think it's your your pleasure ability and and use this technology um, to know yourself better because there's much more mysteries and oh, pleasures yeah. to unveil. And, and, and you know also another beauty of this one that this will not compete with your lover. One, uh -huh. your lover will will never gonna be able to give you this type of uh, orgasm because he's not a machine. <laughs> so you can add these to your relationship. So he will do his job and he will use all his magic and then <laughs> you can use this one. And this will not compete. So anyway, uh, uh, we have- um, two, two In two seconds, you, you mentioned, right? You five seconds, no, five seconds, two seconds <laughs> too many. Five seconds, you can reach your orgasm. <laughs> five seconds, it's like one, two, three, four, Five, five. That's five. You're ready. It's very That's efficient. Five. Yeah. So th this is what a woman will choose, like a first toy. Maybe this one or maybe this one. Uh -huh. Depends. The, the zona or the zona, zona, S O N A, or the lila. Mm -hmm. Then uh, one. Is there another that was also like the zona? Oh well, no. Uh, this is the that, mia. That, this that, is, yeah. Tell like us the, about the the bullet because well this, this is the reason I, I, I have never used that i don't know if it goes inside you swallow no no, no, this, is for the no this is only for the clitoris and we say this is for traveling so you know when you like go through the airport uh -huh, to the customs and you don't want to everybody see your i have great stories about going through customs with sex tell, sex, tell right? us tell us tell us <laughs> <laughs> So one what day, this is, this, this is a funny one. This is the first like <laughs> experience that I had. So I went for the first time to the office in the US in San Jose in California. So obviously they gave me like a lot of toys and I, I didn't have space in my suitcase. So I decided to put it in my backpack and I said, like, well, nothing is gonna happen, right? In the backpack, so, yeah. <laughs> like fully loaded. <laughs> so I take all the boxes out and I just put like, let's say this, my back. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously the, the backpack got through the machine. And the police said, hey, this is yours. And I said, yeah, what is all this? And I said, sex toys. <laughs> and then he looked at me like, hmm. And he said, well, it is what it is, right? But with this look in his face, like saying, oh, you're a dirty woman. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty girl. But actually, it's just like you healthy lady that knows herself yeah but it's like yeah sex toys and, oh okay it is what it is <laughs> but his look it was like funny and i said yeah yeah like, <laughs> like, like he, he work for so god or something yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, like, the, the sila around there i don't have the sila sila is um so a lot of people say that, okay, this is amazing, but it's too fast. It's too fast, it's too strong for them. So we create the Scylla. Scylla is, the, the, look, the look of the Scylla is, 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 is like a, 
a small uh, circle, soft colors, and it works pretty much the same with sonic waves. But the difference is that the mouth, the amount has to be on top of the clitoris because the vibration are low intensity. And so we said that a sila is to build an orgasm and it will take you more time. So we talk about slow sex, about knowing yourself more, about experience with yourself and not, not only your body, but also the environment, I don't know, candles. Yeah, yeah like, like, like create a, a more contextual experience of pleasure exactly. just for our audience i i am going to add a little note here that sarai and i were talking before this interview precisely about the difference of the experience between the silo and the zone which are the the zone is like the five seconds super blowing squirting orgasm and the other one that has a uh, a uh, different approach to pleasure that is more gradual, less intense. And precisely we were talking about sensuality and sexuality because sex, like from my experience as a biologist is a genital intercourse, that is sex, like in a biological and anatomical level. And we were talking that, um, sensuality as a global experience of pleasure that is connect can be connected to sex but it's not exclusive to sex can be can be brought with the and explored with the experience of the sila that that is like precisely it takes more time it allows you to to get into a, a more like contextual and and environmental experience not so directly not to, so no, uh -huh, yeah. not so straight, straightforward to to the orgasm and in yeah, regard, it can help you to build your orgasm and your pleasure so it, your, it's a good option also as a, as a first option if if it will be like my first experience i i, I probably will choose sila and then asana and then but, go go to asana and i would like yeah. to add something because we we were talking also that or any experience can be erotized, like just going for a walk, uh, eating, feeling your clothes, and getting a shower can be an erotic experience connected to sex that can lead or not to, to sex that, as we mentioned, it's like the intercourse or, or the genital um, experience. Uh, and also, there can be a difference between sensuality and eroticism in the sense of simply uh, enjoying the pleasure of being, not in a sexually sexually connected way. And I think all approaches to the knowledge of the body and the enjoyment of the body are important and they build a feedback loop. The more you know yourself and the more you enjoy being in your body as who you are, the, the more able you are to welcome pleasure in your body in a specific sexual way. I mean, uh, you can be eating and enjoying in a non-sexual way, but that, that creates or builds, which is what, I, what we do in Central de Poder, which builds a, a, a base of experiential pleasure to then go into the erotism and sexuality, which is the expertise of this wonderful technology and objects of pleasure. Yeah. Tell us more. Uh, tell us more about sexuality and sexual wellness, and how go, you can go deeper into your body. Yeah. Then, um, well, well, we were talking about the path, so I, I would just like go to the rest of the of what our customers normally do each part yes. is uh, different but this is what people normally do so after trying the external they will go to internal but they will go with something that is not that aggressive for mm -hmm. them uh, and you can see this is the gg this is very thin so this is not very um like it would show you yeah, like that. yeah exactly and then this is for the um um G, 
G spot. Ah, that, that's why it's the GG, the GG for the G spot. Exactly. That's why the, that is that shape. The, the shape is like go up and then it's flat. The, exactly. the, the top is flat. So it can um, stimulate the G spot in a better way. Which is, which is very important. I have to mention because the, the G spot is it's actually very close to the entrance of the vaginal uh, channel, and the the design of the GG connects with with that aspect because with another like more straightforward dildos or yeah. banana shape style, you just <laughs> go past that the G spot. Exactly. So th this is specific for that. People can also use as external stimulator, like it's very good for the clitoris also, but that's the, the, that's the use for G-spot. And people will try this because it's not very like, you're not afraid to use this one if this is like a second experience. Then people will start like to feel more confident. <laughs> and then they will you for the, they will go for the double stimulation um, toys, which is like the rabbit that is very okay. famous. Okay. So these both stimulate the clitoris and the okay. internal area. This is a little bit more uh, thick. Uh -huh. See, so um, this, this is a very typical uh, rabbit oh, stimulator. Okay. It's very soft. And then this is wonderful because this is the closest you can be to the experience or the fingers of your lover, I think. Wonderful. Because the teeth that goes inside has moved Amazing. so this is the donut wave so you can see how it moves inside so it will can it stimulate all the internal part like the fingers of your lover i think your fingers of your lover will not do that right like because we have a different yeah. or they sooner or later will get tired well exactly <laughs> <laughs> we can go oh no no so this is oh, also this is very good like one is charge full charge it will last 100 hours. It's uh, more, more than enough for an intense session. Yeah, 100% yeah, waterproof. So, and, and the handle I mean, is like very handy. Oh, it's very ergonomical. It's very ergonomical. So it's very comfortable. And also, it's, one, it's not as, as thick as the other one. I think that's. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, this is a little bit like thinner. So yeah. it's the experience and that's an advantage more. because it, well depending yeah. on your anatomy but yeah exactly exactly a personal experience i prefer this one but a lot of people prefer this one so it depends another also good i would think about lelo is that we own the factory in Chang in shanghai in china so that allows us several things one the use of the silicone is 100% medical grade. So it's super soft, it's super secure for you. You need to pay attention to what you put in your intimate area. And then um, our test of security, battery, et cetera, is the best. So every each product that you own of Lelo is worth it. It's, it's gonna last forever. We offer 10 years warranty of our products. So it's an investment. Lelo, it's an investment, exactly. And then people, in you, we'll go like a little bit crazy and then we'll go for this one. I, this offer, like from the future, from, this offer an from, experience from the of future lands of pleasure. Total, like, uh, uh, wow, as, super uh, flexible. Uh -huh. So it's the best of two worlds. It's the best of sauna, the sauna, and then it's the best of the Soraya deep. So people can use both. A simulation in the clitoris and in the internal area or because women are asking more and more for anal stimulation so they can use this in the anal areas so it's very yeah. flexible wonderful and it, this is like what people like normally women will use like a last option and then we have the couples uh, like the pro level yeah like this is for couples so this allows like um penetration and then the stimulation in the, in the internal and the clitoris area. We have also the rings and, for men. And that one, how is the control for the little one, the white one? I don't have the control here, I'm sorry, it has a control. but it's a remote control that it, it's external. 
via Bluetooth, yeah, it's external. So you don't have to lose also like, oh, wait, let me change. No, <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, because it's work with Bluetooth. He's got the sign now with Bluetooth and it works with a Bluetooth control. So you can change the vibration and the, uh, and everything about the, how it's working. And then we have like the typical ring for men. Couples. Uh -huh, for couples. So, uh, I mean, the variety of the, of the toys that we have is immense. Um, but I think that the most important part of Lelo is the proposal that we have regarding sexual wellness, regarding our intimacy, regarding our empowerment, our self-knowledge. And what as a woman, when we take that lead, like or that step, like, oh, I want to own a sex toy. And it's not because I don't have a partner, because that's something very common. People think that you have a sex toy because you're alone. Because no, you, because you it's don't... either or. No, it's and. No, it's, no. Like, it's like having a telephone or a toothbrush or a... Exactly. A it's not that because I have a telephone, I will never speak with someone in person. No. Uh, as I was exactly. saying, this, this is completely different. Your lover will never, never offer you what so now offers to you and you can add this to to your repertoire made relationship i had say hey let's use this you know and also this this kind of stimulate like the nipple area and other areas it's not just for the clitoris so you can be creative with your toys and you can do a lot of things and really really enjoy the intimate uh time that you have by yourself or with your partner or whatever you want to have <laughs> wonderful Tell us what what advice would you give to our audience regarding um, pleasure, how to go deeper into the uh, knowledge of themselves sexually and begin to practice sexual wellness? I would start from always from less to more. So try, um, try something that you're gonna be like really comfortable with Maybe you think that what you're gonna be comfortable is with Alila, or maybe you think that what you're gonna be comfortable is with Sona, but try something that it will not scare you. Because if your first experience is not comfortable, you are not gonna want to repeat. So try with less and then increase and increase and increase. I think with everything is the same. Go from less and then as soon as you feel comfortable, go to the next step and go to the next step and go to the next step. But uh, but first, it's like you need to be convinced that uh, that you want to enjoy, right? With yes, no guilt, yes. that, with that's no uh -huh, with with no other ideas around. Like, am I doing something wrong? Or is it because I don't have anyone, or I'm too ashamed to say my partner that I need this? First, you need to convince yourself, and then try from less, and then keep going. Yeah, like like <laughs> break that. <laughs> like break the taboos gradually. Taboos See, are see, meant to be broken in a gradual way. And to know See, yourself because may, maybe what arouses you further and gives you more pleasure, it's the subtlety. Or maybe your, your pleasure is connected with intensity. Or maybe it changes along the moon phases. Of, yeah, it changed, right? Of I, I, I was, or of the life. Yeah. Uh, can, can, can you tell us a story about your aunt? <laughs> so my aunt, she was 68 when I started working for Lil. And then she, she was my, my confident aunt. She was a people who to a person who I was and I will share everything with her. So when I started working with Lelo, I said, hey, I'm going to start working for this company. And I was kind of ashamed to say. And then she said, so what do you do? What are you going to do? I'm going to be on sales. Yeah, but what you're going to be selling? And I said, um, sex toys. And she would say, oh, that's amazing. Will you please give one to me? <laughs> I need, I need to know more, please. So I offer her, her everything. And she was so into sex toys. <laughs> but that, that's amazing. I mean, there's no age. Ah, one very interesting uh, in, um, data from 2020 and 2021. So we, uh, our audience was like from 25 to 35, 40 maximum. But during this time, the audience increased to 65 or a little bit older. So people, as we grew older, we are also more and more open to sexuality. It's not that 
when we are getting older, we lost interest. It's not people are looking for more and they feel more confident. For example, this, the Enigma, our major audience is with moms. Yes, so I, th there's no age for pleasure because there's no age for life. And exactly. pleasure and sensuality is a fire of a life of a lifeness and your 70 year old aunt it's a beautiful um role model in that sense in the sense that exactly. you will always be um a woman or a man yeah. like in in the whole expression of the sense of of your your pleasure and your pleasurability and the thing also and then it was, with time the it things was, go better because you know yeah. more about yourself tell and, us tell and, us about that uh, i have like just you're gonna, you're gonna kill me but i'm my my computer is about to die so let me my don't run for my Let, let's go and, and the audience oh like breathe a little bit <laughs> So this is so good. We are running out of battery, but we found the solution. We were practical women. Tell us about the little the little batteries. Will, will the battery go off? I oh, know you you tell told us it's one hundred hours, right? Once you charge completely, it's one hundred hours. The only recommendation is you need to charge with the um. So all of our um boxes will include the charger not the box that goes to the outlet but if we want to include the cable so we will only recommend you not charging your computer because that's lower charge so it will make your battery less less time you can charge it with the charger of your cell phone and it was it would last 100 hours more or less depending the use obviously but um also 100 waterproof and uh, well, you just always remember to charge it first because it's the worst experience that you can have is that it goes off. <laughs> yeah, as, as almost our computers now in, in this exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful interview. Yes, I'm, I'm so happy to have you with us, Sarai, because <laughs> it's, it's so important to tend to oneself and all the areas that really support health as a whole, because we we tend to separate things and only pay attention to to the health when there is a problem, and yeah. pleasure and the the use of objects of pleasure it's an excellent way to to grow personally and also to, to prevent many kinds of problems it's like it is i mean it's like I, I, it's healthy <laughs> it's it's it is extremely, yeah it is extremely healthy it's extremely healthy and i really love what is going on in mexico not only with the feminine movement we have to be careful with the mexican feminine movement because it's sometimes can be very political and very strong. Yeah. But there is one part of the uh, feminine movement that is talking about this empowerment and this uh, sexual wellness and this self-knowledge that I think is very, very important and, and, and crucial in our lives. I'm a mom of a 14-year-old teenager. <laughs> so uh, she obviously is in touch with everything, all of this, all of this. And her perception of, of sex and sexuality and masturbation and everything is things completely different from what their friends think about it and something that I have discussed with one, our Cowell with our sex therapist in Mexico she's amazing Fernanda Zarate is that the sooner you approach your teenager not to the sex talk by sex talk like oh you need to use a condom and this is what it's gonna be a sex encounter but if you approach to them 
with this type of objects, that first will give them confidence, they will know themselves, and then they will delay the first experience, the first real experience. And when they finally have the first real experience, it will be more fulfillment for them. They will really enjoy them. It will not be something that they will forget or be traumatized by. Or want so, to forget. Exactly, one like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to forget. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to think about it, let's forget. Um, so I think that it's it's a great tool. It's like uh, going to the beauty salon. Like if I link my past experience with this one, then when you are sad, when you need a change, when you need something and you go to a beauty salon and they do something to you and you go out of that and like empower, like feeling beautiful and then thinking, how am I going to replicate this at home? It's the same with the toys. It's the same with the subjects. You know, you can be sad. You can be, it probably was a very stressful day. But then you're going to dedicate 10 minutes, five minutes to yourself, to your intimate space. And with this type of tool, it will be extremely, extremely helpful and, and will give you more knowledge about you. And the next day, if you have a partner, you can have a more honest, more open conversation about what you have, what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, you know. Yeah, to, to cultivate the relation you have with yourself. So exactly. So you are for fulfilled and not in a state of like needing or demanding what you can do for yourself. And that that's a state of of fulfillment that leads to creativity, to sharing and to coming forth to the world from from a place of having something to offer. I mean, like, like you're doing good with yourself. You're, you have a glow to your life. You take so, care of your needs and then everything's a plus. You know, like one more time, what is going on with the conversation is very interesting because one of the uh, key to success for these last two years for Lelo, not only in Mexico, but in the US and the rest of Latin America, is that we are not only selling in the adult stores, but we are also going to what we would call the mainstream retailers or the uh, modern tra trade retailers. Like for example, in Mexico, we have our products in Palacio de Hierro. People don't know about it, but you can find Lelo at Palacio de Hierro. And also you Sam's Club or Costco, no? And no, no, no. Uh, so right now, no. Also, uh, very soon, you're gonna find it in, at Sephora. At in Sephora. The US, uh -huh. In the US, you can find it at Neyman Marcus. Neyman um, Marcus. Uh, the big retailers. Outfit. Big, big retailers, because what people are understanding, what these buyers are understanding, is that it's not something that you can be ashamed of. It's like, okay, I'm going to get my jeans, and also I need my, 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 my pleasure object. You know, it's something that I don't have to be ashamed. I don't have to hide it anymore in my room table and no one want it to see obviously it's not something that you're going to be screaming about like hey i have my sex toy but um but as as, as as we take these taboos off we also allow our customers to really enjoy it because imagine you are not going to this dirty place sex toy where you want to be like a hidden and, uh, yeah hide and i yeah, don't want any as, as if as if sex was something bad no <laughs> yeah yeah no you're gonna say hey i went to palacio hierro i got my lilo and now i'm gonna enjoy it the same way i enjoy my makeup or the perfume that i got there or the i don't know whatever the, the, the pair of jeans. <laughs> yeah it's like it's like even a toothbrush you need to brush your teeth every it's not like you you're in the job like waving your toothbrush or or your lilo no it's something for you it's the yeah, you your teeth, it's intimate hygiene but uh exactly. but sexual wellness is also part of a global perspective of well-being and look exactly. ultimately health yes yeah exactly uh, and I'm that's so what everyone is understanding and that's amazing <laughs> yes that's amazing thank you so much sarai would you like to, to add something to our wonderful interview on pleasure objects and sexuality just like 
try it. I mean, the first time you try is amazing and, uh, and as the same way that you will enjoy this. Uh, and, and I think that was like what attracts from your, uh, all the, the information that you put out there is like the sensuality, you know? It's not only about that type of pleasure, but not only about the orgasm, but all the experience and enjoy everything and, and enjoy the moment and enjoy with your partner. And also, it's not only about like, oh, I'm going to take my Lelo, but also the experience that you create around my Lelo, you know, my, my, my intimate moment alone or with my partner. So if we all enjoy and we all decide to break the taboos that I think we are doing it, it's going to yeah. be more, people are going to be more happier. That's what I that I always say. I love to do my work because I'm making people happier. That's yeah. everything I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like having an inner palace of pleasure within <laughs> and not knowing how sad is that <laughs> like imagine that you have always lived in a castle like fantastic like in the versailles or in the palace de chapultepec and and you live into in a very small room that is your your tension and your stress and etc and you don't know all the wonderful areas and the treasures that you have inside as experience and i think it's very important precisely to gradually break the taboos and open do those doors and discover the mysteries in your body the mysteries in yeah. yourself all your inner richness and come forth to the world to life to what you do every day from that place of power and about an abundance because i think the world needs the best of all of us in this moment so Exactly. I think a very good starting point is to know your fire so you can share the flame, which is the, the message here at Centro de Poder. Tell us, Sarai. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> tell us, tell us where can they find you? What's what's your in Instagram handle? My Instagram is um, at Kalikish. Kalikish. So, yeah, very weird, but it's a K A L I. Your, your name here, here uh, below. So, so it's please go and, and follow Sarai Castañeda in Instagram mm -hmm. at Cali Kish. She's a Mexico and Latin America director of Lilo. Mm -hmm. And she's a great person, as you can see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I really okay. enjoyed this and uh, great job that you're doing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarai. And Thank you, all of you that you are listening in Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or watching in YouTube or in, in the many channels of Centro de Poder. This was the Essential Sessions number two. This is the second podcast. Oh. Don't miss it. Make sure to subscribe to the Essential email so you get this and more podcasts that delivered directly to your email. Thank you so much you. for Thank listening, you. watching. Thank you so much, Sarai. And let's, let's all remember to, to tend to ourselves, to pay attention to our pleasure, to know our fire, so we can share the flame. Thank you so much. Catch you Bye -bye. next time. <laughs>